What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Crimson Doubles rewards from this week on all three of my characters. So this week was the Crimson Days event featuring the Crimson Doubles game mode and Crucible. And overall I thought it was a pretty fun game mode just because I do enjoy Trials of Osiris quite a bit. And Crimson Doubles was very similar to Trials. It was just a 2v2 version of Trials in my opinion because it was elimination. Uh, the only thing different between this and Trials was obviously when your teammate dies you get the Broken Heart buff and that buff was really a game changer sometimes. The recovery is insane. You can survive and get away sometimes and try to clutch up rounds so it was pretty game changing at times but it was overall pretty fun game mode. The only thing I have to say about it is that it was very competitive and sweaty pretty much the whole time. Every single match you played was very sweaty. Um, I think they could have toned it down a little bit just because it's more of a casual type of event where you're just playing for some new stuff, for some rewards, go shells, stuff like that. So I think it could have been toned down on the skill based matchmaking end of things. But I'm going to show you guys my rewards for the week. I'll show you guys what I got from that main bounty, the weekly one. And then I'll show you guys some of my drops as well. So let's get straight into it. So starting off with my first character on my Warlock from the Crimson Glory Bounty with the Unknown Rewards, I ended up getting a Vanguard Shell and a Fall 2015 Emote. So I believe you are guaranteed a Fall 2015 Emote a Mystery Bag and then your other reward is a random, I guess, Nightfall tier drop. And so I got a Ghost Shell in mine, of course. And for my Emote, we ended up getting ourselves a Watcher Back Emote, so the one where he slits his throat and it's a taunt emote so I think they're trying to give you ones that you don't have unless you bought all the fall 2015 emotes when they were available um, but I didn't have that one and I believe all the ones that I did get were ones that I did not own previously so that was okay I didn't really want that one but that's cool at least I get a free emote out of it from all my characters and then moving on to my next character from my Crimson Glory Bounty, we ended up getting ourselves a Panther Ray Fusion Rifle and a Fall 2015 Emote Mystery Bag once again. So at least you get the emote, I think that's satisfying enough because my two rewards so far were pretty poor. I got a Fusion Rifle at 295 and a Ghost Shell. And then for my emote on this character, we ended up getting a Come At Me emote, so that was another Taunt emote. I don't really like the taunt emotes, I don't know, I just prefer some of the other ones, but I also did not have this one, so I guess I'm getting free emotes, that's still a good thing. And then for my last character on my titan from the Crimson Glory Bounty, we ended up getting another legendary item, we got a chest piece this time at 293, so pretty poor for all three of my Nightfall tier drops, and then for my emote this time, we ended up getting the blowing a kiss emote so that was pretty funny I actually don't have that one as well and it does kind of match the Valentine's Day theme so that was pretty funny um, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys my actual drops as well so for my end game drops in Crimson Doubles I actually got pretty lucky and I got a few ghost shells out of it I know a lot of people are saying the drop rates were very low and I did experience that it was very low in getting ghost shells as end game drops but I did get lucky and I got like three or so and I pretty much just played till I completed the bounties on all of my characters. So I ended up getting three in total. I got two of the chocolate one of the sugary shell, a little bit higher than 300 light. And then I got a 297 one for the crimson one, the crimson shell. Uh, so I got a little bit lucky but at least they're guaranteeing you a 320 ghost shell after the event is over just by completing the main quest. All you have to do is just play seven matches in uh, Crimson Doubles and you pretty much get a 320 Ghost Shell guaranteed so that's pretty good at Bungie I think that was a good nice reward for just completing the event or participating in the event and then as for the shaders I did get both of them I got the Rose Bright and the Valentine's Day one or the Valentine one so that was pretty cool I like these shaders they're very red I like the color on it even though they look similar to some of the other shaders in the game they're still pretty cool to get uh, the shaders seem like they drop more than the ghost shells though, so that was a little bit better at least. But that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the Crimson Days event. I thought it was a little bit lacking though overall. I think they could have added a little bit more to it. It was just pretty much the game mode and the bounties and the quests and stuff. So that was pretty much pretty easy to complete. All you had to do is just play a little bit on each of your characters and you get like an emote and stuff like that. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys once again and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!